I wish to rotate this line around the origin of my part. So to do that, from the drop down menu I'm going to select X form, rotate. It's going to ask me to select the entities I wish to rotate, so I'll select my line and my selection. And the rotate window will open up. Like any of the X form options, I can always reselect geometry with this button. I can choose to move it, copy or join it. I can also define the center point of rotation if I don't want it to be the origin. So I'm going to choose to copy my line. Let's set it for five times now. And I can tell it the angle in between or the total sweep. So if I say the total sweep is 360 degrees, there are my five lines. If I increase it to six, there are my six lines. If I put it back to five and go the angle between, and make this 360 divided by 6, you can see the relationship between the total sweep, the number of entities, and the angle. So I'm going to leave this. This is what I want. I want to be able to trim out this section, this section, and this section here, and keep these three circular entities. I can also choose to apply new attributes to it. And I can tell the preview to fit the screen or regenerate the geometry as it does it. I can also flip the direction. And with this button, I can choose to remove one of the items. And if I do that, then I can choose to add an item back in. If I switch it to a translate command, you can see what changes here. So I'm going to stick with rotate about the origin. I'll do five copies, tell them the angle between is 60 degrees, accept that, and save my work.